Okay, so for please mind the sound of my voice. First off, I have pneumonia. I have pneumonia. So <coughs> I have a little bit of a cough and I'm feeling a little bit better and I have some spare time. So I am going to show you a little bit of the work that I am doing at this moment. In the background, you can probably hear the budgie. It's really loud. We call the budgie food. I didn't name the budgie, the cat named the budgie. So anyway, today I am going to show you some of the new techniques that I am using in some of my pieces of artwork. <coughs> I just wanted to start off by showing you this is the, uh, the sketch that I'm working from. I've already gone ahead and done some stuff. Um, I guess now would be the appropriate time that I show you the tools I'm using. I'm using a gessoed uh, 16 by 20 canvas that you can purchase at your local art store. I like to buy pre-stretched canvas because it's a lot um, better for me. I don't really have a lot of the tools to stretch my own canvas. Uh, and I'm alright at doing it, but it's a lot easier just to buy it pre-stretched. That's what I like to do. Um, acrylics I'm using is just a regular ordinary acrylics. I'm using these right at the moment. A different variety of different kinds of acrylics. Um, I'm trying this brand right now. Or maybe I should hold it that way so you can actually read it. Um, and I'm using this one because I got suckered into going to a new art store. Uh, and that was the only brand they had that was within my budget. Mm. I'm also using a pizza pop. And I do not want to get into the discussion of what's better, a pizza pocket or a pop, because we'll be here for hours. I do endorse using pizza pops, and I do endorse using no name brand. Because again, I'm half Scottish. Ah, okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques. Oh yeah, the other tool that I'm using, and this is very important, do 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 this is my ink pen, and I have my, let's see if we can have it, there you go, <laughs> or she can have a unibrow, there you go, we'll give her a unibrow for now. Um, <coughs> uh, the ink pen, I purchased this at Loomis, it's now called Divorce, or whatever it's called now, it's been bought out, it keeps getting bought out. Um, you can basically pick this up anywhere, any craft store, any art store, and uh, there you go, so you can get a little bit of a closer look at that. It basically is a brush pen, right? And it's perfect for illustration work, but I'm going to show you how you can use it with acrylics and get a different, different, different kind of effect for it. So I'm just going to go through here and I'm just going to just put in some detail upon the chapeau. In Canada we call it chapeaus. Some texture in the hair here. And the beautiful thing that I like about acrylic is that it dries fast. I love that. I love the fact that it can dry fast. And some people have mixed comments. They like working in oil because oil takes forever to dry and you can always fix your mistakes a little bit better that way. But I argue about the point that um, if it dries fast, you can basically paint over your mistakes. So, whatever, whatever toots your boot. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and, ah, so I already have some blue on that. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab my brush. And you know what? I also bought some brush restorer as well because I need to do that. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do that later. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of acrylic paint just somewhere else. I, I just like to do that sometimes, just to kind of get it off the brush. You can also wipe it off the brush and put it, but since I'm still in a very early process of uh, painting this picture, you know, I just like to. So what you basically do is you just kind of paint over, very lightly, very gently all the areas that you have already applied some of the ink. Now the ink itself has a very glossy shine to it. I bet you could probably find like a flat based uh, uh, ink as well. Um, but it has to be a water soluble ink. Um, it doesn't really matter for me 
uh, if it is shiny or matte, the finish, because I usually paint over it anyway. And for some of the people, I'm going to say when you're working with this, try to think of it like makeup. And that's the best way that you can do is that you're just going to be grabbing a touch of color on your brush and you're just going to be pulling it out. And the idea is to go very soft to be very gentle and just kind of pull it out just a little bit and you can get some really crazy shadows going on uh, the really nice thing is about this as well is that you can always come back to it later and you can go over it again it doesn't really permanently dry so you can get these nice cool effects I'm going to go back in and the nice thing about this is that if you make a mistake it's not a big deal, it's acrylic, you can always go back and you can clean it up. I'm just going to go through the eye here and just kind of clean things up a bit. And the secret is, is that you're just using water and the more water that you use it's almost like using a watercolor. go in, you can clean things up. The really nice thing is, is that you can do really cool face effects with this because no one really likes hard lines on faces. So you can kind of smooth things right down uh, using this technique. And I'm just kind of going in and just adding a little bit here and there. And there we go. Okay, so now you got kind of this nice little charcoal effect going on inside the painting, which is kind of neat. And, you know, I'm just doing this with just white right now, just to kind of give you guys like a basic feel of what it looks like. But the secret here is just the blend. You know, and the way you just keep doing that, you just have to go back and just keep putting water on your brush and you just keep going over ever so gently, just kind of bringing stuff down and just... Especially my neighbors below me. I just moved into this place, I think, uh, what was it? Four months ago now? Yeah. And yeah, I really think that the people downstairs think I'm completely nuts because I work really odd hours and I am constantly doing videos like this, so it sounds like I'm talking to myself. That's okay. They don't need to know the truth. I don't even know if they own a computer, so that's what you get. So there we go. Okay, so wow, does it look cool? It looks so cool. So that was my little uh, little tutorial right there. So yeah, um, tune in next time when I'll show you another cool thing about art. Um, hopefully I'll show you more about this one. Mm. And uh, you can see how it's coming along. Give you an idea. There's the sketch again, and um, there's the original. Mm. Pizza pops are so good.